Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a Robot Spirits review of the AVA 01 test type, based off of the rebuild of Evangelion Project. This is certainly Unit 01. The violet and green color scheme are unmistakably correct, and the majority of the details found on the on-screen model are present here as well. The silhouette is appropriately thin, and the joints have been cleverly incorporated into the sculpt of the figure quite well. The 6.5 inch height is nice too. This is obviously a good looking figure, but great? I'm not so sure. Yes, the flat green, black, and yellow paint apps look nice. On the other hand, they make the unpainted violet plastic look bare in comparison. And because the majority of O1 is violet, the entire figure gives off an unfinished feel. Much like an unpainted model kit. Don't get me wrong, this Ava is still pretty, but more visually impressive toys will easily outshine it. Ava 01 doesn't contain any real features, so no working entry plug or opening shoulder pylons. However, you do get a second head with a screaming mouth. It's neat for what it is, but nothing too remarkable. Also, while the horn is made of a hard plastic, you can replace it with a softer one which is a lot friendlier to unexpected shelf falls. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now that this Ava's articulation is amazing. To start things off, the head is on a hinged ball joint. So it goes up and down, side to side, and it goes everywhere. The base of the neck has a, a another ball joint, which with which offers just more range. The shoulder pylons are on stem ball joints, so they can be moved wherever you want. The shoulders themselves are ball joints within a ball joint, and then on a hinge and a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow, but it still gets plenty of range out of that. Uh, wrists is on a ball joint. The torso is incredible. There's a giant, huge, uh, hinged ball joint in the center, on, and then on each end it's connected on two smaller ball joints. So the result is this amazing twisting action that is just awesome. The hips are a bit unique, and this is probably the biggest visual weakness on the toy. So what you get, first of all, is a, a hinge that comes out, and it's kind of like a, a figure art style hip where you can pull it down for extended range. And then, of course, there's a, a, a twisting motion there, which uh, the squeaking is a bit annoying to hear. But the problem is, because there's also a swivel there, the minute you open his legs up too much and use that swivel, there is this huge gap that appears here. And it's a bit, well, it's just horrendous to see when it's in a full dynamic display. Um, I appreciate that they have this sort of rubber covering, but due to the construction of the, the hip area, it just doesn't work all the time. But that's a small price to pay for some awesome hip articulation. Double jointed knees, which are great. Um, the ankles. A good hinge motion there. Ankle rocker. Ball joint on this little cover here. And then, of course, there's a toe joint. But the most impressive thing about this Ava is that with all this articulation, and despite only being made of plastic, you can put him in almost any pose, and as long as you align his feet, he'll stand. The balance on this thing is incredible. And, again, for being something so tall, I'd expect a lot of uh, top-heavy issues with it, but it doesn't have that. And you can actually use these toe joints, and they will be easily supported by the figure. It's... It's incredible. I have never handled an action figure with this much posability that was easy to pose and was able to hold itself and not have any issues standing. It's it's remarkable. It's something that if you haven't seen yet, I urge you to check out because it is just that fantastic. There's a lot of hands included with Ava 01. Naturally, fists and open palms are standard. There's also sprinting hands included and a pair of dynamic fingers for some livelier poses. The final two pairs of hands are accessory specific, the first of which being the gripping hands meant for use with the progressive knife and the pallet gun. Both weapons look great and as a nice bonus, you get two of each. Next are these rather specific looking hands, solely meant for tearing open an AT field. So of course, an AT field is included along with its own stand. Combining all these accessories definitely make for one iconic recreation, but I won't lie, this entire scene is a little tricky to set up. The final accessory is the umbilical cable, which simply plugs into the figure's back. The cable itself has a metal wire built in, which allows for posing. Unfortunately, the end of the cable doesn't plug into anything else, and more often than not, it kind of looks like it's just been cut. With Evangelion being such a hugely successful franchise, there have been plenty of options for getting an Ava 01 in toy form. So is this Robot Spirits version the one to get? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for in an Ava figure. If what you're after is something large, commands stage presence, and makes for an awesome display piece, then sadly this figure isn't for you. Instead, this Robot Spirits release primarily excels at being an action figure. 
In fact, I'd say that this is the best Ava action figure available and nothing else comes close to competing with it. Even if you're not an Ava fan, this is still something I suggest getting your hands on. The articulation alone is so incredible that it just makes every other posable figure I've held feel inadequate by comparison. The toy engineering here is remarkable and the huge accessory count only add to the extensive playability this toy already offers. On top of that, at $30, Robot Spirit's Ava 01 isn't exactly a huge investment. This release is an instant classic and one I feel needs to be in every toy collection, so you can be reminded every now and then at just how awesome action figures can be. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching, and for as wonderful as this entire package turned out, not many releases followed it. Bandai's decision to halt Robot Spirit's Avas is both puzzling and disappointing, but hopefully this issue will be rectified with the arrival of the final Evangelion film.